Hi, everyone. We're going to give it a couple more minutes and then we'll get started. Welcome to our meeting tonight. Thank you for joining us. Start about one to two minutes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Welcome to um, Bel Air High School's course uh, request or course selection meeting. Uh, my name is Trish McGilkey. I'm one of the counselors here at Bel Air High School. Um, and we also, on our call today, we also have Mr. Lawler. He is our lead counselor and he'll be helping with the presentation today as well. All right, here we go. So we do have, here at Bel Air High School, we have a lot of student support. So this slide is just showing you that we have a team of counselors. Um, we are sectioned off by alpha. So last name um, of your student will be who you're assigned to for your counselor. We have a social worker, two college access counselor or coordinators, wraparound specialists, and lots of great support here at Bel Air High School. Uh, before I keep going, if, um, as we're going through the presentation, if you have questions, please put them in the chat bar and we will be, there's two sections of FAQ time that we're going to uh, address the questions. So tonight in our presentation, we will review um, Texas Public High School graduation requirements, how to choose your courses for ninth grade. We're going to touch on personal graduation plan and what that is how to submit your course request for ninth grade. We're gonna talk about summer school options and who to contact for help. Okay, so let's talk about what it takes to graduate from high school in, in a text from a Texas public school. So the four core courses, English, math, science, and social studies, a student will need to take four years of each of those, four credits, two credits, uh, in a foreign language. And in, for the minimum requirement, it has to be the same language. One credit of fine arts, one credit of PE, half a credit of health, and 5.5 elective credits. And so the total number of credits is 26 to graduate from high school. That's minimum. Of course, you can have more. Here's an overview of a typical school year. Um, obviously, as we know, we're not in a typical school year this year, so our schedule looked a little different. But in a typical school year, students will attend seven classes every day at Bel Air High School. We're not certain how the schedule will be set up yet uh, for next year, so we're, that's still to be determined. But we are presenting and planning for it to be uh, seven classes a day. 
for now. So an English class, a math class, a science class, a history class. So in ninth grade, it's world geography, a fine art class or an elective, health and PE or PE, um, and a foreign language class. That's the typical uh, schedule of a ninth grade student. So we always say to students when it comes to course selection time, um, imagine when you open the hub. So the hub is um, a place online that you'll get familiar with as a student in HISD. Um, it's where you'll find your schedule in August and it's where you um, see your assignments and you turn in assignments to your teachers. So imagine what the, when you open the hub for the first time in August, will you be happy? Will you be not so happy? Basically paying attention and inputting your courses carefully is what will make the difference. So it's really important to pay attention to what um, we're presenting. Before you begin to choose, and we're going to tell you how to choose, but before you begin to choose, I'm going, I want to um, let you know there are resources on our website to help you make informed decisions. We have a course worksheet. We have a leveling guide, which is very helpful to help you choose which level you want to take. We have a CTE and a fine arts guide to help you know what the courses are, uh, course descriptions. And we also have a one page resource um, with, with it all in one place. And so, and the link is here. I will share the link again later, so you don't have to worry about it right here, but um, later on you can take a screenshot of the link so you can see that. So how do I begin to choose my courses for ninth grade? So I would ask you to think about which high, if you took any high school credits in middle school. So typical would be algebra one, maybe a foreign language, the first year of a foreign language, maybe IPC. So those are some typical high school credits we see coming in. Then I would, um, say, please don't choose those courses again because you can't, you're not going to earn the credit a second time. So you're going to choose the next level for that subject area. And then you're going to think about the core courses next. So we're going to break it down by subject area at this time. English courses for ninth grade. So for English, the first core area, you'll be choosing between three levels. So in many of these core areas we have at Bel Air High School, we have three levels. We have academic, we have a middle level, which is what we call college prep, and we have the pre-AP level. So as far as um, people ask about GPA, as far as uh, the, the um, GPA points, the pre-AP is going to be on a five-point scale, and the college prep and academic will be on a four-point scale. So meaning if you earn an A in pre-AP, you'll, you'll get a five into your GPA. And if you earn an A in college prep or academic, you'll get a four in your GPA. So that's just an example. Math and science combination. So this can get a little tricky, but we ask, um, there's three, pretty much three uh, different choices here. Before choosing your math and science, you have to consider, A, did I not take algebra one in seventh or eighth grade? So that means in ninth grade, you need to choose algebra one for your math and IPC for your science credit. The next combination would be if you took and passed algebra one in eighth grade. So that means in ninth grade, you're going to choose a level of geometry and a level of biology or IPC. Or C, if you've taken algebra in seventh and then geometry in eighth, then that means in ninth, you're going to choose algebra two, a level of algebra two, and you're going to choose biology or chemistry. And usually people choose chemistry if they took biology in eighth grade. Biology is offered in eighth grade at some schools. Social study options. So in ninth grade, it's just between the two levels. There's not a college prep level in social studies. So it's going to be between academic and pre-AP. So those are the four um, core areas. We just want to ask, you know, to think about the leveling because the choosing the level really matters as far as, you know, what getting your school year off to a good start, making sure you put thought into the levels when you're choosing. Um, if you really need assistance with that, it's good to ask your current teacher uh, students 
to see, to get, you know, get their opinion. Do you think I could handle the pre-AP level? Um, also, please consult the leveling guide. The leveling guide is created by our teachers, so that's a really great resource for you. Do you know that if a student starts in a level and if the level is too rigorous or um, not rigorous enough, you can, the student can do a level change at the beginning of the school year. They do have some time to do a level change, um, and that would just be with their counselor. So there's a level change form that we offer the students. But ideally, of course, in an ideal world, we want the student to be placed in the, the, the correct level at the, in the beginning of the year. And then foreign language, as I mentioned at the beginning, you need two years of the same foreign language to graduate. A student, of course, can take more than that, um, and those would be considered elective for them after they finish their first two years. The first two years are the graduation requirement, and then after that, they go into the elective bank, which they need 5.5 credits to graduate. PE and health, two semesters of PE and one semester of health are required. So PE, how do you meet the PE requirement? So you can do it by taking just regular PE class, beginning dance, JROTC, athletics, marching band. And then it's, uh, we do have tryouts for emotions, dance class, that's our dance troupe here on campus, Bell and JB Cheer. And then in ninth grade, you can um, pair, if you want to do one semester of PE and then the other semester pair it up with health, you would just have to pick up that other PE uh, half a credit in 10th grade, or you can take both semesters of PE. And we're going to talk about summer school. There is an option, um, possible option to take health in the summer. We'll talk about that in a little bit. A lot of students want to try out for specific uh, athletics, or they want to audition for orchestra. So you may want to take a screenshot of this. This is on our website as well, but I wanted to provide it for easy access um, for you to take a screenshot of it in case you want to go ahead and start emailing the coach or the teacher. So, <clears throat> excuse me, or orchestra has auditions, advanced theater classes, um, advanced choir, and then of course all the athletics. You would need to contact the coach or the teacher to audition or try out. I'll come back to this slide in a second, just in case you want to. We're going to go ahead and take a first round of FAQs now. I'm going to open the chat. If there's any questions, if you will, go ahead and put it in the chat. What is IPC? IPC is a credit, uh, a science credit. It's called Integrated Physics and Chemistry. So that is an introduction to a little touch of chemistry and a little touch of physics. And it does count as a science credit. Um, if a student wants to do, and we're gonna talk about endorsements in a little bit. If a student wants to do a STEM endorsement, that's the only time IPC doesn't count is if the student is a STEM endorsement student. It would still count as an elective for the student, but a student who wants to get a STEM endorsement, they would have to take an additional science, such as physics. Um, so that's what IPC is. Um, our students take um, uh, pre-AP world geography on the freshman level. The AP human geography is a much more difficult class. Um, they can take it their junior and senior year, but they do not take it as freshmen. Uh, there's a question about when selections need to be made. They can be made today. Um, they do have to, they do have to be made before uh, May the 7th because the, we're going to download the selections and run the master schedule with them. So they have to be done before May the 7th. Does anyone else have any questions for today? 
for right now. We'll have a time to ask questions a little bit later. I see one more question coming in and then we'll move on to elective. OK. This meeting was set up as everyone muted, so sorry about that. <laughs> we usually have these meetings with the students, so it's, it's a little easier to get through it. If you want to take classes in summer school, we recommend health. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll talk more about that later. Um, the, the, around May the 1st, we'll be opening up um, an online um, sign up for health. And that'll be a good opportunity to take a course. Uh, in doing multiple sports, that a lot of that has to do with the coaches involved. There are some sports sports that are so demanding you won't be able to do both of them. Um, when I was a soccer coach, I shared um, um, players with other sports, uh, but you know, you know, again, it comes back to the coaches and how much they need you. And um, so it's possible with some of the sports. Uh, if you're signing up, if you want to try out for a dance group, what should you put on your course selection sheet for PE? If you're trying out for a dance group, um, I would sign up for the regular dance class. And then if you make the specialty dance classes, we can move you into that. Uh, I believe my son is taking IPC now. Do some schools have eighth graders taking IPC? Yes, some of the um, eighth um, middle schools are offering a IPC. We like it when they do. They come here and they'll take biology that first year. Mm -hmm. That's a great question, John. Okay. We don't recommend you repeat any course. Um, you know, as a counselor at Bel Air, um, over the years, the only classes I see freshmen coming in and repeating are sometimes Algebra 1 and sometimes maybe that first year of foreign language. And that's because they got credit for the class, but their foundation was so weak that their parents didn't feel that they'd be successful in the next level without um, rebuilding the foundation. Um, sometimes a teacher, like in middle school, goes out on um, they're sick or they're ill, and so they have a sub. You know, those things happen. Those are the kinds of situations where I see someone repeating a course. I would not repeat IPC, though. Um, I don't. I think that would be a waste of credit. The problem is, is that when you repeat a course, you can't get credit for it twice toward the 26 credits you need for graduation. And so that's why we generally don't recommend it. OK. The level of foreign language has to do with, in many cases, what what you're taking now. If you're taking it, Let's say you're taking Spanish one in the eighth grade. You'll take Spanish two next year. Um, a lot of it has to do with what credit you're being given. And if you have a question about that, ask your um, current foreign language teacher about, you know, what credit you're going to be given for the class. And then you just take the next level. If you're going to be given two years of foreign language, you go to, you know, like French three or Spanish three. Um, great questions. Thank you are asking those. We're going to look at elective choices in the career and technology department. Beller has six plans of study. Um, students can start a plan of study by taking the introductory course in agriculture, business management and marketing, graphic design with the audiovisual emphasis, programming and software development, distribution and logistics, travel and tourism. Uh, students on the C this doesn't apply to y'all, um, but you're going to start with that. Um, well, so those CTE options are there available for you um, as part of the courses that you can choose to take here at Beller High School. 
you you'll take if you're taking a um this can be an endorsement for you in CTE uh, and you'll take one of the one of these emphasis areas um, over four years and you um, have a chance to earn certifications in some of the um, the business areas. So a good opportunity for a lot of the students. There are fine arts electives. One of the great thing about Beller High School and why people choose to come to it is our fine arts that we have available. You will need one credit for graduation and you can choose to take that this year between dance, band, choir, orchestra, theater, the wonderful opportunities that we have to grow. And if you want to do it over four um, years, you can do that. We have room for you to grow within those emphases within our program. The personal graduation plans. This is a document that's required to be on high on file for every high school student. What is it? The PGP establishes your graduation plan. It establishes your endorsement, what the sequence of courses that need to be taken to get your endorsement, and it sets goals for your high school career and career interest. You may have started this document in middle school. If not, this will be emailed to you later in the year and you will work on, on your PGP with your high school counselor. Every student at uh, Beller High School has to have um, a PGP and we're starting y'all off with the multidisciplinary endorsement. You can add other endorsements later um, depending on what electives you choose. Electives are important. The electives that you choose pay a big part in which endorsements you're going to earn, whether it's the STEM endorsement, the business and industry endorsement, the arts and humanities endorsement, public services, or the multidisciplinary that I mentioned a few minutes ago. If you want, if you um, want to make changes to your endorsement, you're welcome to do that in the spring of your sophomore year when we're, you're doing course selection for the next year. That's a good time where we can um, look at endorsements. Summer school. I know lots of you are thinking about summer school. Um, this is a great time for students to take health online. Registration information will be on our website, so you go to beller.org and um, you'll be able to click on the summer school information and health must be completed before the first day of your 12th grade year of high school. Uh, enrollment at Beller High School. This is a great topic for y'all. Students coming from outside of HISD must enroll. The link is located on our website and it's active now. It's www.bellair.org. Under helpful links, click on registering at Beller High School. Students coming from zone middle schools and HISD do not need to enroll, but you will be automatically enrolled at Bel Air. Um, all students may submit a course selection form. However, only students that are enrolled by our registrar are automatically enrolled and will have the course selections process. So it's very important now to begin the registration process, start collecting the forms you'll need for the registration at Bellar High School, and you'll be able to enter those in the website. Um, right now, it's everything is online. Since we've gone into COVID, you'll be able to register online. It's a lot more user friendly than it used to be. Um, I guess y'all can think, count your lucky stars on that one. We have the ability to create groups. We use remind groups for texting information. So you can text 81010 with the message at cards 2025, and we'll put you in a remind group for information for kids entering Bellar High School. That's a great opportunity to get information you need. There are some things that are going to be happening this summer that you want to be reminded about. Mrs. McGilkey has put that information in the, um, the chat. Text 81010 at cards 2025. We also have other information. Um, you can subscribe to the e-news. Um, you can subscribe to Facebook at Bellar High School. You can follow us on Twitter at Beller High School and 281010 at cards 2025. We talked about that a minute ago. That was last year. 
And you can follow us on Instagram at at Beller High. Great opportunity to get information about Beller High School. Now we're going to begin selecting your courses. This is what the form is going to look like. We are online course selection form. It's important that you put thought in what you're choosing. Remember we talked earlier about what you do today matters because the counselors are going to take this information and they're going to make a schedule with it. And you want to do your best today so you can have the best next fall. On that first day of school. Here are some things that you need to keep on your radar um, to make sure that you've done in enrolling at Beller High School. You need to complete the course selection form. We're about to go through that in just a few minutes. Um, you are able to register for Cardinal Camp. This this is already opened up on Beller Beller's website. Um, I was lucky enough to teach Beller High School, um, the freshman, for many years, and I taught at Beller before they had Cardinal Camp, and I taught at Beller after they had Cardinal Camp. It made a huge difference in student success and getting orientated to Beller High School. So you definitely want to sign up for Cardinal Camp and take advantage of that opportunity. For some of your classes, you're going to have summer assignments and the first assignment that you have next fall will be what you did with your summer assignments. So you want to check the Beller website for summer assignments that will be happening probably in about a month. They'll start putting them out. And in August, you're going to attend Cardinal Camp and pick up your ID in mid August. So there's great opportunities coming for you there. Looking forward to that. I don't know if they've set the date for Cardinal Camp yet. That's a question in the um, the chat. I'm looking it up. Um, when I was looking earlier, I didn't see it, so I don't know if it's there or not. This is a link to the incoming ninth grade course selection. You have the written link and you also have a QR code. You can take a, a picture of the QR code or open it up on your phone. Um, on our website, there's a one page resource with everything you need to help you choose your courses at the um, bit.ly site, the second bit.ly site. So you have two bit.ly sites there, uh, one to do with the course selection sheet and the other with um, courses that are offered at Beller High School. If you have the ability to scan the QR code, feel free to do that. Oh, it's August 20th. Fantastic. Is. And I'll put the link to the course selection form here in the chat as well. Uh, that'll make it easy. And as you're um, as we're here, if you have any more questions, please put them in the chat. Online health registration usually opens up about the first week of August. I mean, sorry, wrong. First week of May. That's when we usually have the summer school options available. Um, so I would be looking back at Beller.org um, for that option then. Mrs. McGilkey has put the private school, um, the bit.ly for course selection for the private schools in the chat now, and you're able to get it and click on it and go to the form if you need to. We have another um, form of course selection grade. Um, some of y'all may have I, I, um, HISD numbers if you were previously in the schools. Um, some of you may not, that's all right. Um, you know, but uh, you can begin with the other information of printing your last name, first name, um, helping in the process. So I do want to show that on our website there is a one page resource. Um, let me show you what it looks like. It has the presentation here that we are presenting today. It has the graduation requirements. Next steps. And then our resources for course selection, the planning sheet. The remind group and then register for Cardinal campus here at the bottom. 
So that is on our website. If you want to take a screenshot of this link, just in case you have trouble locating it, um, it's here. There was a question in the chat about when will students receive their class selections in order to complete summer assignments. Since y'all are freshmen, you're pretty much going to get what you ask for. Um, if you're asking for an English class or a math class, a science class, social studies, you know, we have plenty of options available for you to get what you need. Um, so you will know pretty much what your schedule is. You just won't know periods and teachers for next fall. Um, you know, we do a really good job of putting the freshmen in the classes that they need. And um, we have plenty of options for y'all. Uh, if you want to change your language option before next year, um, that's fine. Um, next. Um, fall um, when you're picking up the course selection you can uh, fill out a course selection form and um, change the language if you want to um, that has happened in that um, that's perfectly permissible if you know we have students start one language and they decide they want to go to another language that's true the great thing about Bel Air is have we have so many language options and we encourage students to take more than one language if they want to um, that's the great part of being a, one of the great things about being a Bell or high school. Chloe, you do not need to put an F in front of the number if you are already an HISD student. Okay. Mrs. McGokey has put some um, information on, um, or information on the chat to help you with the course selection. Um, I believe so the student it went to HISD elementary school, but private middle school. Yes, typically the HISD number stays the same. So you can go ahead and put that. The number should stay the same if it's different. There's a problem. To be honest with you. Um, we are one of the things as registrars they do is they go back and they find that number um, to maintain a congruence in the records. And create creates problems when they aren't together. We have um, here you have you may want to know who's your counselor, who's your counselor going to be um, on this page. If your counselor's name begins with ABZ, you have Mrs. Childs, it's DEFO or you, you have Susan Lede. You may want to take out your camera, your phone, and take a picture of this to see how the counselors are set up. So you, when you, if you have a question, you can respond to them. You're always welcome to um, um, email me. I'm Charles Lawler at HoustonISD.org. I'm up the top. Be glad to work with you um, in answering any questions that you might have. And I'm Trish McGilkey. I have I, J, K, L, and X. So if that's what your last name starts with, I'm your counselor. Do we have any other questions? The freshmen are not able to take pre AP geometry um, over the summer. Um, we do offer it. 
you know, if you're at Beller High School last year um, and you were taking Algebra 1, you would be able to take a pre-AP geometry over the summer. But um, we only offer that course for our kids that we currently have. Course selection is due by May the 7th. That's when we'll we're going to take all this information that you're going to use on the chart form and download it into the system. Does anyone else have any questions right now about course selection? I'll go ahead and turn off the recording. This recording will be posted on our website just so you have access to it. Um, we will stay a little longer in case you have any questions. But we'll go ahead and.